All right, bo folks, we're back. It is Monday evening, and it was a wet one in Houston this morning. Dried out pretty good this afternoon, but boy, we got a good one this morning. I'll tell you what, about four inches in an hour, hour and a half, so pretty much a traffic nightmare on the way to work this morning. Anyways, uh, a bit of good news. My mother came home today out of the hospital, so glad about that. Thank you all so much for all the well wishes, prayers thoughts and just get wells i really appreciate it. it means a lot we all have a mother and y'all know how it is when your mother gets sick so i appreciate all that all right well let's get on to this updating stuff i am the living room panner this here is my gmail uh first thing i'd like to talk about is my giveaway raffle i have two numbers left number six and number ten if anybody would like a a uh, $5 donation for one of those numbers, you get a 1 in 10 shot at either these two piece dollars, a little bit dinged up, or this 1 and a half ounce Polar Bear, 2013 Canadian. So it's an optional deal. You get either or. And there, like I said, there's only two numbers left. If you're interested in one of these numbers, all you got to do is donate to my channel, $5 per number. Send it to my Gmail PayPal and you'll get your name written down here and paid and it's all good. We'll draw that number and see who wins. All right, next little thing I got going on. Man, I'm not going to show items tonight, but uh, we will continue. All right, next thing is I got a number pick giveaway going on. I just kind of keep this thing going. As soon as somebody picks the right number, I find something else to give away and we start all over. So it's pretty simple. You get one pick per day. You leave your guess between 1 through 50 on my Gmail. And it really pays off if you folks make y'all a cheat sheet like I got right here. I got the days of the week and the people that have guessed and their number. And down here at the bottom, I got a list 1 through 50 and I scratch them off as we go. Usually it takes about three days, sometimes four, sometimes two, sometimes one time, one time, one time, one day. So you just never know when somebody's going to pick the right number. Just remember it's one guess per day. All right, and right now I got uh, about six little wheat pennies and a couple of 1941 nickels, and I'm thinking about adding something else to it. I get a little time here later on tonight, I'll do that. I still have to package up everybody's stuff. I didn't mail it today, so it's going out tomorrow. But at least I got all the packages filled out and everything organized, so it shouldn't take long to get it packed up. All right, let's do the incorrect numbers here. Y'all note these. Yesterday it was 28, 19, 15, 37, 17, and 16. And today it was 15 and 12. So y'all send in y'all's guesses and you get your chance of winning that giveaway. All right, next thing I got going on is a silent auction. Every week I run this from Sunday to Sunday, or at least I try to start it on Sundays. And I have 10 items here that I have a silent auction. You can casually <laughs> every evening when I post my video, I post a video every evening. And it's going to have the incorrect number guesses for the 1 through 50 pick deal. It's going to have your updates on the silent auction. And it's going to have updates on the raffle. So y'all watch for these videos every evening. Item number one is a 1914 Barber Dime. It's got a hole in its head, but it's got a lot of detail. I'm asking $3 for that. Number two is a Standing Liberty Quarter. And it's worn pretty smooth. You can't see the date, at least not what with uh, a little magnifying glass, but I'm asking for $6 for that thing. All right, next item is two 1934 quarters, and they're not in bad shape. Uh, I'm asking $8 for those two guys. The next item, number four, is a 69 Kennedy half dollar, and it's in pretty nice condition. It's in a flip. It's about uh, $9 is what I'm asking for for a minimum bid on that. Number five is a lot of Canadian coins donated by Jan Lewitt. Thanks, Jan. They're really in nice condition and beautiful coins. I don't know if y'all like the wildlife like I do, but I'm asking for $12 for that lot of Canadian coins. Uh, next item, number six, is a 20-gram bar. Mm -hmm. bar. Make 
Mexico, and uh, it's put out by the Silver Mint, and I'm asking for $15 for that. Uh, next item is 18-something-8 uh, Trime. It's unclear that third digit, so I'm not certain what it is, but it's an 18-something-8 Trime. And it's in pretty nice condition, other than it's worn around the date edge. And I'm asking for a $20 opening bid, and so far, JS has been my sole bidder so far. Old JS, he bid $20 opening bid on that Trime. Uh, thank you very much, JS. Number eight is two common rounds, one-ounce silvers. A 911 commemorative silver and a George W. Bush commemorative silver. Both one ounce silver rounds. I'm asking $35 for those two. And they're in mint condition. Number nine is a 2019 Stormtrooper. And I won that, I, I'm almost certain, off a of Sil Silver Seeker. And uh, it's, it's beautiful, uncirculated as well in a capsule. And that's a $35 opening bid. And then the last thing is, I put together three of those 5-ounce copper rounds, those big, heavy copper rounds. I put three of them together, three total. The Aztec calendar, the NQS Indian head, and the uh, one walker. And I'm looking for a $45 opening bid on that, folks. So there it is. There's the auction items. There's my Gmail one more time. Y'all send in y'all's bids, y'all's number guesses. If you want one of those raffle numbers, there's only two left. I got a feeling they're going to go tonight. So good luck, everybody. Please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to others out there in the community. And if you haven't subscribed to me, by all means, please do. Uh, you might get yourself a sticker out of the deal. All right, folks, y'all know what we say down here in Texas. Later, taters.